Hi, everyone. It's Josh Gottheimer, Congressman from Northern New Jersey. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm sorry I can't be there in person. I want to, uh, of course, acknowledge your great Chief Executive Officer, Sasha Roitman Drodwood, for uh, uh, excellent work in the combating anti Semitism movement. It's good to be back with all of you and a privilege to have been part of the summit, uh, combating anti Semitism summit, and amazing to see what you all have done since we last spoke. Let me begin by saying that what CAM is doing is just phenomenal and doing it in a, a nonpartisan way is, is so important. And as someone who co-chairs an effort in Congress that focuses on bipartisan governing, I think issues like these, of course, are always best and enduring when we take the partisanship out of them and actually focus on what the effort's about, combating the roots of anti-Semitism wherever we see it rear its ugly head. Bring together members of the last gener generation of Holocaust survivors directly into people's living rooms around the world for personal conversations on the Holocaust is an incredible way to ensure the lessons of the Holocaust are carried on from generation to generation. As you all know, Yom HaShoah is a solemn remembrance day. We remember the 6 million Jews killed by the Nazis during the Holocaust. My wife's grandparents lost most of their families in the Shoah. And uh, I just remember so well spending time with her grandparents and talking to them in a very painful way about all they saw and all they lost and how it deeply affected their lives uh, as they built a life in the United States of America. Our family carries a lesson of the Holocaust close to our hearts. And we're reminded through their horrific loss, the importance of the words, never again. As Tom Lantos, the only Holocaust survivor to have served the United States Congress warned us that a veneer of civilization is paper thin. We are its guardians and we can never rest. We know the knowledge by the Holocaust is beginning to fade. And we know that it's more important than ever for educators to memorialize the Holocaust and discuss and learn from its history. That's why we fought for legislation like the bipartisan Never Again Education Act to create a new grant program for the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum to ensure schools and teachers have the resources and tools they need to teach about the Holocaust. It's why I'm dedicated to keeping that memory alive and doing my part to ensure that never again is not just a phrase, but a reality. It is our responsibility to make sure we address hate and intolerance and the impact it can have on our society. We must always stand strong against anti-Semitism and hate in all forms. In my family, we stress the importance of the Kulam to repair the world or put another way, to perfect our union. That's something I aspire to every, every day in my job. And it's a philosophy that seems more necessary and more important than ever before. To close, thank you to Cam for everything you're doing. To stand up to anti-Semitism, I'm very, very grateful. And thank you for everything you're doing today to honor Yom HaShoah. Uh, what you do is so important. I want to thank all of you for being involved, for the energy you're putting into this, and know that it's having a very, very big impact around the world. May God bless all of you. God bless the Holocaust survivors joining us today, virtually, and of course, may God continue to bless and watch over the United States of America and all of our families. Good night.